Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the new, the new, new, new Hourglass Vanish Foundation. That's probably not the official title, but that's what we're gonna deal with right now. <laughs> Yesterday I went over to the Hourglass store here in Soho, NYC. They had a pre-sale where you could go. They actually had a little event, it was really cute. They had a table set up with mirrors and all their cosmetics, of course, and an opportunity for you to try the foundation in real time. They have their professional artists there they talked about the product they had hors d'oeuvres they had cupcakes they had champagne of course i just had water kate the great beauty is going to be so disappointed in me and i tried the foundation bought it of course i did see mel thompson's review which i mean if you haven't seen it it's extensive and thorough she really put this foundation to the test and ultimately i don't think she was crazy about it from what i've understood from her conclusion so you want to check that i'll put her video down below in the description box i still wanted to get it because i'm a huge hourglass foundation vanish stick formula fan and i was very curious just to see and experience the foundation and i think i will also just make a separate vlog video as a wear test video so you can see how that goes we're gonna go through the foundation the product details uh comparison swatches and a couple of other things that i bought from there yes night and we'll take it from there if you want to take a look at the new vanish seamless finish liquid foundation then please keep on watching hey friends my name is alicia if it's your first time here my platform at kinky sweat combines all things movement and beauty if you love eyeshadow contortion movement life fitness aerial whatever in that category of things you're in the right place today we're we're taking a look at the new hourglass foundation which i was just anticipating with bated breath the minute i saw the leaks from trend mood i was like <gasps> because you know i love my vanish stick i know it's stick but i say stick always without fail i was so excited to see that they were coming out with a liquid formula uh hourglass products are sublime i know my rugrats pillow is turned the other way because this camera is going to focus on the group but not me can't have that love the rugrat squad but you know we gotta okay we'll also do comparison swatches with the vanish strip and also talk about the formula i have a little bit of product knowledge i got the product knowledge pamphlet in the bag and other things so let's get to it all right friends here it is the vanish seamless liquid foundation this is the pamphlet that they had over at the store shout out to tanya for calling me about this event i'm so happy i made it beautiful shop in soho we got 32 shades these are all the shades listed on here and one of the associates told me that these shades actually run a little darker than the vanish stick shade so keep that in mind highly concentrated formula delivers instant full coverage innovative coated pigment create a smooth long wearing application no primer needed that's good because i don't do no primer okay i also was told that this formula uses 30 percent more pigment than the stick whoa formulated with light refracting i like the refraction microspheres to blur yes and create a soft focus complexion and i was feeling and looking real soft focus last night okay fade proof 24 hour wear mm. waterproof transfer proof and sweat proof non-comedogenic formula i have the shade honey i thought i would be warm honey but the associate encourage me to stick with honey and honey is a good shade match but we'll see because i'm in front of natural light now and i was in front of like store light which is very different and hard to kind of tell which is your right shade under so we'll check that out in a minute here we have some steps on how to apply the foundation they recommend that you dot it on first and then blend out from there use half a pump of product are you gonna focus on that? Blend using the foundation brush or damp makeup sponge. Pro tip, for a boost of radiance and to prevent creasing under the eyes, mix a small amount of Veil Translucent Setting Powder with Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation and apply using the number eight large concealer brush. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. I got the veil next to me, maybe. I'm not promising anything okay i do have the brush because i stupidly purchased it months ago didn't need to but because this is an hourglass video we'll use it fine i decided again to go with the shade honey and honey is described to be medium beige with a golden undertone this foundation costs 56 
dollars it's expensive and i'm not telling you to buy this you know how the collective is friends we are here because we love to talk about makeup i am not sponsored i do love hourglass i'm a fan of their products again we're going to talk about the product if you don't like what you see you don't buy it that's as simple as that okay the vanish stick foundation costs 46 dollars so it's 10 dollars less let's see here we have 0.8 for fluid ounces or 25 milliliters of product how much do you get in the stick though in the stick 0.25 ounces of product or seven grams of product getting a lot more here which probably uh, reflects in the cost as well some product details 18 month recommended shelf life this brand is cruelty free it is made in the usa and is one of the higher end brands that are are actually cruelty free so that's one of their big selling points in concerning the brand beautiful box in the typical like deep bronze metallic finish as all our glass boxes are here it is it kind of likens to the design of the stick except the stick is like an actual triangle this is like what a trapezoid i don't know same deep metallic bronze uh metallic finish top with a frosted glass bottle so this is heavy not really travel friendly just based on the weight and the, it's glass so up to you if you do get it and you love it and you need it with you at all times sephora does have those mini samples uh i don't know if that promotion is still running but maybe you could get one of those empty it out if it's not your shade and just pump that in for travel or just get something else to pump this in because to carry this around i don't know it's a lot basically this is just uh the foundation name in different languages so that's what we got there you have the actual product details here on the bottom of the label on that sticker and of course hourglass vanish name on front i mean gorgeous bottle it's gorgeous there, there's nothing really more to say skin is prepped they do recommend that you don't prime which is great for me because i typically don't prime anyway before i go in with foundation i do recommend that you prep the skin this is said to dry down to a satin finish which i agree with but when i was watching mel's video she does say satin matte and i do agree because it's not completely matte but it's like you don't have to powder it either so depending on your skin type you'll kind of tell where on the spectrum you are in terms of the finish it dries down to i will say with my usual morning routine i applied the peach and lily matcha pudding antioxidant cream which is like my all-time favorite now for the morning and then i followed up with the squalene vitamin c and rose oil just took two drops press it onto my skin it had time to Absorb, so we are ready i'm gonna do it their way i'll do it their way so let's do half a pump but we got to get it out first come on i believe in you i'm trying to catch it so that it doesn't actually press out a full pump but just half oh it's almost there oh that was a full pump whatever it's fine <laughs> so here's the color that we are dealing with happy i got the honey i think warm honey would have been a little too warm and warm honey is a neutral undertone and i rather stick with the golden just for the sake of the video we are using the foundation brush you don't have to it's recommended because it's all marketing and of course they want you just to buy hourglass everything but you definitely don't need this brush for a beautiful finish on the skin i'm dotting where i need the most coverage so as you see i got a couple of things we gotta you know take care of all right so that's that let's get a mirror i'm gonna use the mirror from my ambient unlocked face palette and let's get to blending the gentleman who was helping me last night he was like pressing in like this i'm like dude you gotta work that product in man don't get frou-frou about it okay like get in on that skin i am a little rough when it comes to uh applying foundation as you can see yeah warm honey would have been a little too much because last night i thought it would that this shade wasn't uh, bronze enough but it actually is i definitely will not use i haven't used a sponge to apply my foundation i have recently been using it to apply my concealer but brush is the way to go for me i have a little bit still on my hand i'm bringing that onto the bridge of my nose because i have like an empty spot there yeah that's pretty full coverage man i have this little pimple could have 
put a little more on there but i decided just to kind of be chill with it because it's still healing so it's getting a little scabby which i feel scabby blemishes are harder to conceal completely just because they're so textured on the surface here is how the skin is looking it's definitely satin is definitely full coverage i still have to experiment with it in terms of how it wears throughout the day it is right now 12 11 so i could come back here around four o'clock i know that's not five hours but just to kind of see what that does at the five 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 hour mark ish for i can't count and then tomorrow i'll blog and just to see what it does uh more than that don't go in a lot with this foundation it is full coverage or i would say high medium to full coverage because full coverage to many people are very different from what i think is full coverage i typically don't gravitate towards full coverage but it's more the finish of this foundation that was excited about because i'm always looking to appear soft focus okay i love the shade i think it is a great shade for me i'm happy i went with honey because honey so let's do the comparison right i have the honey stick by me me, but this is first just the shade from the liquid i'm being very careful to not press out too much product because she's expensive and i don't want to waste her okay this is honey from the vanish liquid yeah so that is that shade here is honey from the vanish stick so it's almost a little more pinky in tone versus the liquid is it appears a little more golden which i appreciate because i rather wear warm honey as my all over if i were using the stick so i feel these are definitely more closely related and i'm just curious to see if in fact the stick shade description is the same as the liquid and it's tough you know to find out your shade if you can't get to a store and you have to rely online it's like oh man it's tough but yeah this appears a touch lighter than the liquid formula which he did say go with the lighter shade in the liquid and not your actual shade in the stick so again if i usually put warm honey all over my face then i will go with honey since that's the shade lighter but it's not because well on the store display it was honey and warm honey but on the sephora website in the shade boxes it's warm honey honey so i don't really un i don't understand but yeah happy with honey what do you think how is the shade looking on the face let's go in with some concealer let's finish the job man i am so proud of myself because he did apply the veil concealer under my eyes it looked nice it did but i don't need it you know why because i bought like five fenty concealers i don't need another concealer at the moment okay before i would have purchased it because then and there it looked gorgeous it was great and i'm like no man don't buy that you know what i want to go in with 300 instead of 235 so let's just take that oh that looks so light ooh, 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 ooh. i'm gonna take sand from my born this way i did a showdown between born this way and the fenty instant retouch if you want to check that out i ended up loving the fenty more because it was more brightening but people were saying the uh, born this way looks a little more natural so they're both winners to me okay i didn't wet my sponge i know i'm so bad so we're just gonna quickly blend this out but yeah the old me would have purchased that veil concealer because then and there it looked gorgeous but i held myself down grounded the mind and the soul and said no no i did get a blush though and a mini bronzer which we're gonna see right now i know my brows are looking a little crazy because i have to fill them in but i wanted to do that after the fact i wanted to blend out my foundation without any qualms and trepidations so that's why i waited i'm taking my beautylish and chikohoto brush because any portions on my face that i feel need a little more refinement a little more smoothing this is a natural hair brush versus the hourglass one which is all synthetic so the synthetic is not going to absorb as much product ultimately though i would use this brush to apply the foundation just so it could take away a little bit of product and not keep so much on my skin now along with the event they were so nice they like put a couple of goodies in my bag look at this baby hourglass bag i'm kicking myself because i recently purchased the mini veil 
But look, they have even a smaller veil powder. <gasps> it's like the baby. Look how cute this is. Baby veil, mama veil, and it's so insane. Big Papa Veil. So yeah, this is the family of veils here, friends. I don't know how to hold it. Oh God, there we go. I could take this back, but I kind of don't want to because I like options, okay? I know it's a little expensive. That little thing was like $24 and this was free. My purchase was like $126 because I bought the foundation, a blush and a mini bronzer. But with the bag, they gave me a free ambient strobe lighting blush in Euphoric Fusion. So this was like in the swag bag as well. We also have a mini veil and a mini caution mascara, which along another packet of veil. I love it. It's a no primer foundation, but they're giving you the veil samples, okay? No matter what. With my foundation purchase, I also picked up the mini ambient diffused light a powder the oh no i just realized he gave me the wrong compact so i have to go back to the store i wanted the mini radiant bronze light powder he put that on and i was so impressed with how the shade looked it was one of the lighter shades that i didn't think was gonna work but it actually worked as a really nice soft contour shade soft i picked up the limited edition ambient lighting blush uh, because of the Chinese New Year is the year of the pig. So this is the packaging is called vivid blush You're gonna focus on me and this blush Is pink look how beautiful usually people love hourglass blushes because they're so light and easy to use like you can't screw it up it's sheer but it has still a beautiful flush of color that looks natural and because of the particles that they're not glitter but it does provide radiance to the skin along with that flush of color that just looks beautiful on the cheeks this though like that's pink and we're gonna put that on now i don't have the bronzer because he gave me the wrong one but we are going to go in with the unlocked face palette but let's set the under eyes first again we got to stick with the hourglass so we're going in with the veil translucent making sure that any creases that might have occurred in that little presentation are long gone i know we didn't do the translucent powder mixing liquid foundation trick but it's fine i could do that another day okay beautylish and chikohoto cheek brush a little bit of the veil powder and i'm gonna put that on i haven't used it for under eye in a long time i usually use it as a finishing powder once all my complexion products are on i just zhuzh it around with my uh powder brush i'm gonna press it center of the forehead as well it just offers beautiful radiance and brightness to the skin i'm not gonna set the skin i'm gonna keep it as is it does have a little bit of stick to it so it's not completely matte i mean it is satin so it's not gonna dry down like the nyx would the can't stop won't stop but i'm just gonna keep it as is anyway i'm not gonna set it or should i what should i do you know what i'm gonna set it and stop being stupid i know better and we also should just see how it works with powder or not should we just see how it goes without setting friend you know what let's do it i'm just gonna let it do what it does because this is for the sake of the video see how it dries down and lasts throughout the day because they didn't say you had to set it for it to be sweat proof and transfer proof and fade proof for 24 hours i'm not going to have this on for 24 hours but you know it's fine <laughs> what we will do is use let me see here i am going to go in with my sonia g face one and with the bronze shade from the unlocked palette and i'm just going to press that onto the skin well that's gorgeous i could gently swipe but it appears that again these powders are just sublime in texture and the application is easy you don't have to overwork it because it just leaves such a skin like finish for a powder product that again you don't have to over manipulate it once you get it on the skin mm. now let's go in with this blush man because it is so pigmented and pinky I'm actually going to place it higher on the cheekbone. So you know I'm going to take my Wayne Goss Holiday Brush 2018, tap it in lightly, oh boy, but get it on higher on the cheekbones. Oh, that's, look how, whoa, my poor Melt. Listen, I haven't forgotten about Melt, okay? I still love those blushes, but the shade though right now, oh my goodness. 
taking my beauty list chica holder brush just oh we got a little bit where did the sun go excuse me oh my gosh yeah that was a little scary taking my chica holder brush again just to finesse the powder a little bit to buff it out oh but you know what i kind of want to try the euphoric fusion on the apples of my cheeks so i put the uh special edition one oh Ooh, I, I put this special edition one higher on my cheekbones because since I don't actually have like cheeks, I usually put uh, more saturated colors higher on the face. But the euphoric is okay. It's a little sparkly for me. Oh, there goes the sun. Let's tone this down. Hold on. It's a little too sparkly for me. I like the vivid flush better. But you know what? I ain't complaining because it's free. So I'll find a use for it somehow, some way. Go in with this highlighter in the face palette and just carefully place that down high on the cheekbones. One of my favorite low-key highlighters of all time. If you don't want that crazy reflective high metallic finish on your face, Face. Get the hourglass, man. All right, skin is feeling good. That portion where we applied the bronzer on, the skin feels soft. It doesn't feel as tacky. And tacky is a very powerful word. It's a little bit scary word. It definitely feels more soft matte instead of satin. I feel that I could brush my face or against something and it won't transfer a lot. I'm taking uh, the lighter shade here and just patching... <laughs> placing it under my eye just to add a little bit of brightness all right friends i'm gonna put on these eyebrows and be right back brows are on so we look a little more coherent a little complete this definitely will be a first impressions and i apologize in advance if you wanted a more extensive review i only purchased it yesterday but i wanted to get on here in case maybe you were near my shade range all my foundation shade references will be down below if you have been shade matching with me for the last few months I recommend that you go with honey for the vanish seamless liquid warm honey You probably could get away with it probably will be a little too warm if you're not in your tan state I sure am not so that's why I opted for the honey Well, let's go over some of the points that they presented as to what we should expect from this foundation Definitely highly concentrated the minute you start blending it out You can see the coverage work right away. It's going to cover any unevenness any redness uh any faded blemishes so here for instance you can kind of still see them peeking through but the little amount that we use i'm fairly impressed overall with how even toned my skin looks i gotta lighten you up a little bit more how's that a uh, coated pigment smooth long wearing application i could see how my morning routine yielded a more than ideal canvas prep for this foundation no matter what especially if you're dry skin definitely go in with the moisturizer and i can consider myself oily right now i'm sorry that i didn't mention that in the beginning of the video i still will use my squalene oil just because i feel it offers up a plusher texture to work with when dealing with a nice smooth foundation <laughs> foundation application i wouldn't use a product that's going to leave your skin matte maybe you wouldn't use this foundation if that is indeed the case fade proof 24 hour wear i'll probably check in later just so we can see i'm still going to consider this a first impressions but i think it will still be interesting to know how the foundation wears at least for the four or five hours that i'll have it on for waterproof transfer proof and sweat proof i think you know what tomorrow is going to be a kind of like a sweaty day i have my hand balance coach olaf which i love so much i'm gonna see him and take a workshop so we're gonna get we're, we're gonna get bendy tomorrow friends i'm gonna wear it then and just check in with you guys throughout the day and kind of see how it goes through all those things non-comedogenic i will have to wear this foundation for a week to see if i break out or if there are any new friends that want to join the party but we're gonna make sure they never come 32 shades not as extensive as the fenty line could have they had a lot more uh deeper shades like they do the line probably because of the undertones right the shade might be great but the undertone is gonna throw you off if it's not indeed the right one could they add more absolutely it is quite possible that maybe they started off with 32 shades 
to see what the feedback is and eventually they'll add more down the line. I think it is fairly easy to apply. I will not use a sponge ever just because I like to work the product in with the brush. I feel it just leaves a more natural finish. I understand that depending if it's synthetic or natural, if it's synthetic, it might leave more product on your skin. But again, uh, next time tomorrow, I'm gonna use my Chico Holder brush that is natural bristles and I feel will take away a little bit of the product so it doesn't look so heavy. I'm gonna tone down the light just so you can see how the skin is looking up close if it decides to focus on me. So here's my little blemish friend right there. She's still peeking through, but I love how the skin is looking. I think it does look smooth. It does look poreless. Uh, Mel did mention after 10 hours that she wanted to get this off her face, so I'm not sure if the texture changes, if it feels heavier throughout the day, because I know with the Vanish Stick Foundation, the more it wears, the better it looks looks it definitely looks more skin like it just kind of works with your skin throughout the day and melts and just becomes you instead of uh, just a foundation stick on your face. Hoping that this will do the same. Uh, I think, again, this is a lot more pigmented than their Vanish stick. I mean, simply because they did say it has 30% more pigment than the stick formula, which leads me to the conclusion that the stick formula is going to yield a more natural finish than the seamless liquid. If you're looking for a more natural finish, I don't know if this is for you because it's full coverage. It's going to slap down that pigmentation fast. But I don't feel I look overly made up. What do you think? I actually feel my skin still looks like my skin despite 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 the full coverage. I loved how the concealer played well with the foundation I would have probably applied less and it's fragrance free thank goodness don't be wanting no fragrance on my face okay please just keep keep it away from me I will say if you use too much of this foundation it's going to crease and gather in those fine lines that inevitably will gather if you apply too much product. I think you have to be very light-handed with this foundation that if you usually like to go in with the heavy hand, you might have to go in with less. After tomorrow, when we do the wear test, I'm going to combine it with the stick formula just to see how what that does because maybe I could use less of the liquid and a little more of the stick and we could kind of create an ideal texture for the skin if you insist on buying and using the Vanish Seamless Liquid. Would I run out and get this? No, it's $56, it's very expensive. Is it blowing my mind like the can't stop, won't stop? It's not, and I think it's because maybe I was I was expecting this. I was expecting for the seamless to look like this. I will say when the gentleman applied it on my skin last night, I feel like he applied way too much. And when you do, your skin does look blurred. I mean, my skin looked satin sateen like a canvas and i'm not crazy about that look i like the amount we applied today i mean i say we because i feel like we did it's because you're here with me and i felt it was enough product and i feel the coverage is good i love how my skin looks i really do i love how it looks now we'll give it a couple of hours because right now i'm going to start and film my Julius place tribe eyeshadow palette review Maybe we're gonna do three looks with that, so stay tuned for that video! And I'll check in with you later, but as of now, I like it. I do. I'm gonna keep using it. It's Hourglass. I'm a fan. I feel like they would not let me down in the complexion department. I'm gonna experiment with it further. Again, combine it with the Vanish Stick formula, see what we can do with that. I'm gonna use it tomorrow, put it to the test, and we'll take it from there. Hey friends, just checking in. So, okay, I screwed up. After signing off, I realized that I did not take a thumbnail photo. So I took off the foundation, dotted around my face, took the thumbnail photo, and then applied it again. This time though, I applied it to the back of my hand, worked it in with the Chikohoto foundation brush, then I buffed it onto my skin. I did not set it. I made sure that I kept it as is. I did put another bronzer on. I have the ABH uh, bronzing powder in cappuccino, Juvia's Place highlighter, and the Juvia's Place blush in Serafina. It's a little bright. I had to change it back to auto because for some 
some reason, manual was not zooming in on the texture of my skin. So here's how we're looking with the foundation on, but I applied it my way, okay? I find you would get a far better, lighter finish if you apply it to the back of your hand first and really work it in from there because you'll work the product into the bristles and I feel it'll just leave a more natural finish on the skin. We're looking at uh, around three hours. I know I, I should have had it on longer because of my flub that I explained at the beginning of this portion. I'm gonna do a wear test tomorrow, apply it way early in the morning and have it off throughout the day and it's gonna be a sweaty day. I find that if I apply it my way, it looks actually quite smooth. I mean, hello, are you gonna focus on me? It's kind of settling into my lines here, but that's usually the case with a lot of foundation. It doesn't look too bad on my forehead. There's some, it's very faint creasing, but for the most part, I powdered down here and it doesn't look too creasy. And I love the finish the foundation dried down to because I found that it was very easy to apply my, zooming in, why? Apply my powder bronzer on, it glided across the skin, it didn't catch, it didn't appear patchy, it was actually quite smooth in application. So if you're wondering how it dries down and if you could go in with powder products right away, I feel like you can. A little goes a long way, you could cover your whole face with half a pump, you just have to be very strategic with how you apply it. If you want the most out of your application, yes, use a synthetic brush because it's gonna definitely lay down more product than a natural bristle brush would. I like to use my natural bristle Chikohono Beautylish brush because I feel it just yields a more natural finish. But if you want that full coverage life, go with the synthetic brush, I am stopping you. First impressions, I really like this foundation. I know it's hit or miss and again, you don't have to run out and buy it. It's $56. Is it change your life? I can't answer that because I've only worn it for two days. I really have to now combine it with my other foundations, the Vanish Stick formula deal with different concealers and powders to hanker down on what I am loving. It is the 25th. We have one week left in January and if it's a favorite and I love it, then I'll be my January favorites. How about that? And until then, friends, that's a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another tutorial, demo, chit chat, or review. Take care and I'll see you again soon.